Welcome back to our ET suite here at Comic-Con. You know, tomorrow, Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, and the cast of Suicide Squad will hit town so they can give fans a little sneak peek of their movie, but why wait? E.T. has an exclusive look behind the scenes right now. Action! The Suicide Squad are criminals brought together to try and do good. No one is cooler than Will Smith as Deadshot. Here's to honor among thieves. There's a part of him that the dead shot is thinking, maybe I might have made a wrong turn or two in his life. Then there's that twisted Joker, Jared Leto. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I didn't realize that the Joker was 75 years old. Uh, I mean, the story of the Joker. I never thought in a million years that I would have the chance to play a role like this. He hooks up with Margot Robbie as Crazy Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, nice to meet ya. Dr. Harleen Quinzel was working at Arkham Asylum. She's a psychiatrist, and that's where she met Joker and fell for Joker, and then born out of that was a transformation into Harley Quinn. Despite the fact that she looked like a demented cheerleader, it was very frightening to come within an inch of her, but at the same time, a vulnerability. You may be bad guys, but I think you could do some good. Viola Davis is Amanda Waller, and we gotta say, it is cool to see these ladies in such strong roles like Cara Delevingne's deliciously wicked Enchantress. Please don't touch me. I don't really remember seeing a movie where the women got such important roles. They were always the kind of the, the sidekick or the kind of love interest. I remember reading it and I was like, oh my God, the girls have the best lines. I'm known to be quite vexing. I'm just forewarning you. We sort of landed on the separation between being a bad guy and being evil. It's not a movie about good versus evil. It's a movie about bad versus evil. 